this treatment works for all hair types in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how to use this powerful hair growth treatment for thickness for moisturizing and for nourishing your hair it also helps to strengthen your hair prevent hair breakage it will ease the process of detangling you can see how the comb is easily passing through my hair without even struggling and my hair is 4c slash 4b even makes the hair very shiny guys i don't see why you shouldn't use this hair treatment give it a try all right whether you are struggling with hair growth hair breakage a problem with your split end whatever problem you are having you need to put this treatment to test all right if you are new here please do not make it your last subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification bell click the like button and please share this video let's get started so we are going to start off by heating up our pot and adding five cups of water you can put the quantity of water you desire so you must not use up to the one that i used this is my fenugreek seed um rosemary leaf and fenugreek powder in case you do not have the fenugreek seed you can go ahead to use the fenugreek powder okay and over here is my rosemary leaf this is a dry rosemary leaf if you have the fresh one you can go ahead to use it because it has lots of benefits for the hair the fenugreek powder can also be soaked inside hot water or warm water just in case you do not have the fenugreek seed okay you can make use of your fenugreek powder they all perform the same task so over here i'm going to be using the fenugreek seed i'm going to put about two of the one fourth of fenugreek seed inside my pot guys i made a huge mistake of putting two please put only one because at the end of the day when you start blending this fenugreek seed it's going to swell up so after pouring in my fenugreek seed i went on to put the dry rosemary leaf then covered it to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes after 15 minutes i turned down the heat and allowed it to cool down okay if you're enjoying this video so far please click the like button it really helps my channel a lot and also share this content i'm sure that tons of people that want to see it please do not forget to subscribe if you're new here we're almost on 6,000 subscribers that's a lot i'm so grateful thank you all so so much so as you can see i'm about to blend this mixture i make sure to blend it into a very smooth consistency and as i was blending it i was adding water you see what i was telling you guys right i had to be adding water this is not even the whole fenugreek seed that was boiled i had to divide it into two and at the end of the day i didn't even use everything so over here i also added shea butter shea butter smooths down freeze and flyaways so suits an irritated scalp, protects your hair against heat, protects your hair and scalp from UV damage, locks moisture into your hair, acts as a sealant for coily and afro textured hair. Well, I put in a little quantity of shea butter into my blender and blended it smoothly with a fenugreek paste, making sure to strain it out with a wig cap when I was done because I didn't want um, fenugreek chunks to be stuck in my hair even though at the end of the day i still had a little bit of it stuck if it's well blended and the wig cap gets all the fenugreek chunks trust me it's going to come out smoothly the only problem i had was that my wig cap actually tore somewhere okay so when i was training it out the um chunks were coming out and i didn't notice that until i was applying it on my hair so please take note of that when doing yours so over here i went on to put my clove oil jojoba oil and carrot oil these oils are packed with so many nutrients and vitamins that can really go a long way to nourish your hair and scalp promote hair growth thicken your hair and give you that healthy natural hair or healthy relaxed hair that you are looking for guys please do not sleep on this hair mask okay majority of people say that fenugreek smells yeah fenugreek may smell like syrup but please note that it really works perfectly well for hair growth the only thing that 
once you apply it on your hair you go ahead to rinse it off or wash it off okay so right now i'm adding in my hair growth oil that i formulated long time ago i think i shared a video of how i made this hair growth oil you can check it on my tiktok page or even here on youtube it's one of the recent videos i shared so when you are done adding all your oils guys fenugreek contains nicotinic acid which really helps to strengthen your scalp and hair gives you a healthy hair that you desire and also promotes hair growth this is actually one of the indians hair growth secrets if you have not been using fenugreek i really don't know what you are doing okay this is one of the ways you can really strengthen your hair follicles strengthen your hair and most importantly gives you that hair growth that you have been craving for you can also use it in a tea form yeah you can literally boil your water Put fenugreek in there and just strain out the water and sprinkle all over your hair or you can make it in a in a hair growth oil form so there are so many ways you can actually use fenugreek for hair growth and i'm going to be bringing out all the videos one by one stay tuned for my next video to see how i'm going to use it as a hair growth oil okay so over here as you can see i'm taking down my hairstyle and i'm applying water on my hair just to open up the hair cuticle the water is actually actually warm yeah you can use warm water to sprinkle all over your hair so that to open up your hair cuticle so that it can accept the fenugreek paste remember that the fenugreek is very thick okay just in case you do not know it's actually a very thick paste so you are going to apply this all over your scalp and hair guys make sure to get the root of your hair okay make sure to get the scalp very well and the ends of your hair which are the oldest part of your hair make sure to massage when applying this mixture if you haven't used fenugreek i'll say this over and over again until you guys understand how powerful this ingredient is is okay and i also added in um rosemary leaf you have the fresh rosemary leaf you can blend it in there when um blending your fenugreek powder or fenugreek seed guys i really don't know what you guys are waiting for i think i trimmed my hair a month ago and look at my hair just take a look at my hair it literally as if i did not even trim it guys please use fenugreek okay use fenugreek after applying it all over your hair and scalp you massage it in then you use a wide tooth comb to detangle your hair the detangling is so easy like it literally as if um applying a very slippery product which is actually what is going on here it's actually a very slippery product you literally don't need to struggle when applying this treatment and to some extent i didn't even need to use a white tooth comb i was literally using my hand to detangle it first of all then used a white tooth comb probably because i'm used to using combs but if you are the type that wants to be using your hands to detangle guys you can use it you can see the smile on my face i was literally enjoying applying this mixture all over my hair like the joy it was giving me it was just too much and i decided to share it with you guys you can get the edges guys if you have been sleeping on your edges please stop it stop it okay you need to stop it and start taking good care of your edges use fenugreek all over your hair your edges and one more thing i have to say is that in as much as we are looking for remedies to grow our hair maintain our hair and scalp please we also have to stop doing the wrong things to our hair the wrong things i'm talking about are making the wrong hairstyles handling your hair in a very rough way or treating your hair badly i noticed that some people don't even know what it means to treat their hair badly when i'm talking about treating your hair badly how do you allow people to take care of your hair people that you give access to your hair such as hairdressers how do you allow them to take care of your hair in as much as we give people room to do their job please you also have to open your mouth to speak out or fight for your hair when the time is needed okay not every hairdresser actually understand what it takes to take care of the human hair especially natural hair that requires more attention guys you really really need to pay attention to how you handle your hair and who um you give access to your hair i really hope you guys understand what i'm talking about avoid 
tight hairstyles avoid tiny hairstyles avoid touching your hair all the time after washing your hair applying your hair mask doing all the necessary things put it in a protective hairstyle and let it be and your hair will grow it's just very simple okay very very simple it's not that complicated guys i'm not even going to lie 90 percent of the ingredients i used to grow my hair are all natural and another thing i have to tell you all is that my hair doesn't grow that fast the human hair grows half an inch in a month which makes it six inches in a year so i know fully well that i can retain up to that six inches in a year um some part of my hair will break so um knowing fully well that my hair doesn't grow that fast also so let me say give or take in a year i make sure to retain about four inches of hair every year or four and a half inches of hair so just uh, imagine retaining that amount of hair or even less than it but if you are using remedies like fenugreek powder black cumin seed rosemary um moringa um so many of them even chebe is a head is a hair strengthener it's actually not for hair growth but it will strengthen your hair to make it not to break fenugreek promotes hair growth um clove promotes hair growth um what again there's so many ingredients out there that really really helps to promote hair growth so after applying all this um herb on my hair like the one I'm, i just applied the fenugreek and the rosemary leaf paste i will massage my scalp very well make sure it's well coated all over my hair and scalp and then cover my hair with a shower cap then tied a towel so that the moisture will be well locked in if you have a steaming cap please make use of it i actually have a steaming cap but guess what there was no light at that when i was applying this hair mask and oh my god <laughs> i just made use of what was available so you can get your nylon or get your shower cap and tie your towel or any clothes you have on it then leave it for the amount of time you want then you wash it off with a shampoo fenugreek smells a lot so you really have to use a shampoo but make sure the shampoo isn't the type that will strip up the moisture from your hair guys my hair was so moisturized strengthened and it actually promotes shine i didn't know that fenugreek also promotes shine please give this treatment a try come back and let me know what you all think thank you so much please subscribe and see you later bye